then they burn the stumps, the stakes, the everything else. They <laughs> party afterwards. Played on a cricket pitch. Two bags four. One for the master, one for the table, one for the little lad who lives down the day. Thank you. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Talk About. Now, if you're watching the show, obviously you like game shows. But are you sure that you're not a gamaholic? Do you find yourself going, <laughs> waking up and going, <laughs> do you come in from work and say to your wife, darling, what's for dinner? And does she say, well, look in the oven. And do you go, whoa, it's frozen pizza. Well, if you do, you need Gameaholics Anonymous. Call us up and we'll send Jim Bowen round to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. Let's meet the contestants. <laughs> what about, really? Colette, how are you? I'm Beverly. Now then, <laughs> you're going into your third champions round, aren't you? Yeah. To get you some practice, you've got five seconds, Colette. Talk about Bev. Beverly's name is Beverly, and she <laughs> likes it, eating. That's it, that's it. You've got to you see. You've got to be quick here. <laughs> Beverly, five seconds. Talk about Colette. Colette's got a little boy called Joshua, and she's learning sign language at Whoa, the moment. Whoa, very good. All right. <laughs> You up to speed? Yeah? yeah yep. Let's go and play the champions round. <laughs> here you come, man. Here you come. 260 quid. You got, you got, two, <laughs> you got 260 quid already, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Third go at this. You only get five. Then we get rid of you. Oh. You start earning more money than me. <laughs> Do you want to talk about cocoa or cola? Cocoa or cola? What do you think? There's money involved, so choose wisely. Mm. Well, choose Coco. Right. You can talk and I'll go in the box. Everybody <laughs> wants to go in the box, well, so they're like, all left. It's like yeah. home now. It's, it? yeah. it's like a rest for you. Yeah. Go on and make yourself at home. Put your earphones on. Coco, every word this time is worth £20. Mm. And one second in a double or nothing challenge. Right. Good luck, Colette. 20 seconds. Talk about Coco. Cocoa is a bean, and you make drinking chocolate out of it, and it's um, chocolate, and you pour milk onto it, and you have it at bedtime. It's a drink, and it's a hot milky drink, and um, you find cocoa beans, which are in sort of shell things, and you crack the nuts open, and there's a cocoa nut in it, and you make chocolate bars out of cocoa. Very good, fine! <laughs> Hundred quid, five seconds. What did we miss? We did not say powder. Cocoa powder, cold drink, they're brown. You have them in a cup of cocoa, and you have a tin of cocoa. Do you think that in five seconds she'll say one of those words? If she does, you double. If she does, you double for two hundred. If not, you lose the lot. It's your choice, Colette. What do you think? I'll stick with that. I think. I think she won't get it. You know what happened last time, don't you? She got it and shit me. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we not tell her again? No, all right then. All right then. We'll see what happens. I'll pull her out. Oh, it's tense, isn't it? Hello. Thank you for joining us. To the centre position, please. You've got five. What we want you to know is if in five seconds, you can say one of those remaining five words. Yep. Good luck. Five seconds. Talk about cocoa. Beans, drink, Brazil, brown, milk, night time. Oh. <laughs> You said brown and brown Aww. was up there. Aww. You know <laughs> last time. Right. You know last time you said you wouldn't do it. You said you wouldn't do it again. <laughs> and you've got no faith in me. <laughs> and you do it every time. Yeah. I can't believe it. That's three hundred and sixty pounds. Next time you go for it, you've got to let it go for it, haven't you? <laughs> Champions positions, Colette and Bev. <laughs> and we'll be adding challenges on talk about. <laughs> George oh. and Wilma. Wilma! <laughs> <laughs> George, you got a bit of stuff, a bit of stuff oh. on you think I'll get rid of that for you. Thank you. And I think I'll have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it makes me all right. Just go. <laughs> put it just there, because it's just very nice. And we can all share it during the show. That's George, right. talk about Wilma. <laughs> well, this is my wife, Wilma. She's the mother Wilma! of Wilma! Wilma! She is the mother of our two children, Ruth and Paul. Paul, oh no. Hello, Ruth and Paul. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Ruth and Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when they do that. I hate it when they do that. <laughs> yeah, anything else? Yes. Um, she's a math teacher who 
math teachers are normally very sort of sensible people. Uh, she's not sensible at all. No. I've, her one claim to fame is uh, in primary seven, she did a Louis Armstrong impersonation. <laughs> she's very good at it. But what claims to fame in that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you tell her you. Oh, she tells me off all the time. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Louis Armstrong. Who's he? <laughs> We'd like to see this thing up. We just want to see it, don't we, Louis Armstrong? <laughs> I'll introduce you. <coughs> and now. It wasn't primary seven, remember? All right, I don't know what that is. <coughs> and now, for the first time on British television, as Louis Armstrong. It's like, 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 like Leslie Crowther, aren't I? And stars in their eyes. <laughs> my day, Will Murray's a math teacher. And by afternoon on television, she's Louis Armstrong. Well, hello, darling. Well, hello, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk now, your voice is gone. Well, Mark, talk about George. Oh, uh, um, George <laughs> H. Gillen. The H stands for Higgins, in case you're interested. George Higgins Gillen. Yes. Very Scottish, yeah. that. George Higgins just, Gillen. Just like Hurricane. He's like Hurricane, yes. yes. She works for a well known um, whiskey company. He doesn't like whiskey, incidentally. Do you not? Um, no. He fancies himself as a bit of an actor, a bit of a gambler, a bit of a tennis player, and a bit of a jogger. He also does impersonations. Oh, great. <laughs> Do you like to know who he does? Boy, am I thrilled about that. <laughs> My Sometimes husband does Catherine Hepburn. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, it's, it's like new faces, this show, sometimes, isn't it, eh? Well, you know, why don't you just get an equity card like everybody else, you know? <laughs> Go and work the clubs for a bit. Go on, then. Well, Catherine Hepburn. I have to say, first of all, this is Catherine Hepburn, as the public don't see her. What? <laughs> you mean, you mean as, as she doesn't sound normally? Is yes. that, yeah. It's an entirely different voice, isn't it, normally? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, she so, speaks, speaks more like a man, doesn't she, normally? Uh -huh. More like a Scottish man, That's I guess. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> go on, then, go on. I've got to get my head shaking right. <laughs> well, darling, it's so wonderful to see you on Santa Fe here. <laughs> Earphones on, you two. Put your earphones on. I'll bet they must have put their earphones on half an hour ago now. All right. <laughs> Here are your subjects. Pick carefully, the two of you. Cool. There's copycats all over again for me then. Do you want to talk about the Channel Islands or chimneys? The Channel Islands or chimneys? Chimneys. chimneys. Right. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go first, if you don't mind, okay. Captain. We are going to talk about chimneys yes. and Wilma's going to go first. Okay, Wilma, you have 20 seconds. Good luck. First time talking is hard, just relax and enjoy. 20 seconds. Talk about chimneys. Chimneys are these brick-built things on top of houses and top of roofs. Um, smoke comes from them. They're with houses that have coal fires in them. They're called lums. They reek their soot. There's chimney sweepers that clean the lums. Boys and girls used to go up the chimneys to clean them in the olden days when they were dead young. Um, chimneys. Chimneys are pubs called chimneys. Um, I've said lum. Six is very, very good for a first. Time. That was great, wasn't it? Was excellent, yes. That was brilliant. That was better than the impression. I'm very impressed with that. <laughs> 20 seconds. Talk about chimneys. Uh, chimneys. Uh, chimneys are on the top of the roof. Uh, they're black, uh, they, there's black soot that goes inside, and the chimney sweep comes and takes the soot off them. Uh, it sticks a brush up to get the chimneys. They're related to fires. Flues is another word for chimneys. Uh, the, the chimney street, the children used to climb up. Father Cl Santa Claus comes down the chimney. Uh, you, put, you put your socks out in the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you'd had more time, you'd have gone about Christmas for a minute, wouldn't you? But listen, seven is great first time talking. Here's what you miss. You didn't say draft, factory, and nest. Mm. I think you could be all right. Let's see what happens. There we go. They'll take their earphones off. They're great, those two, aren't they? They got seven on your left, you three. We know how good you are at guessing. Let's see what happens. Two the words they missed. They did not say draft, factory, and nest. Five seconds. What's the subject? Draft. Beer. Beer. That's factory. But what's nest? Brewery. We answer, no. We're going to say brewery. No, it's not. It's chimneys. You keep the points. Well done. <laughs> earphones on. That is the first game I can remember that you didn't guess what it was. Listen, we're all sharing this little bit of uh, oh, little bit of thing, so you have that. In fact, I'll put has it. Has it got a name? It has got a name. We'll is it John? Is it John? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll name it in the commercial break. We'll see you in a minute, and we'll put there. Look, we we'll okay. just rest it across. <laughs>
Welcome back. Hello, welcome back. I tell you something, those two, what must they be thinking? The whole commotion, well, they've had their earphones on, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. They're thinking, they're getting hours and hours to get over here. <laughs> what we're gonna, what we're get, for a minute, we're going to call this John. Yeah. John. John. So that your husband doesn't forget it. Mm. Yes. Because if you didn't watch the last show, your husband called you John, didn't he? Yeah, he did. No one's quite sure why, but listen, <laughs> you, you, can call you, you can call yourself husband John, you can do impressions, do whatever you want on this show. Oh, Anything you like. That's yeah. what show it is. Do you want to talk about harps or port, not the docks? Harps or port? Should we talk about harps? <laughs> yes, we'll talk about harps. I'll go first. All right, then. Seven points down here. Got to do well. 20 okay. seconds. Talk about... Harps. Harp is a musical instrument. It's got strings on it. You sit on a chair to play it and put it between your legs and you strum it. And it's got octaves on it. It's got lots of long strings and some little short strings. There's high notes and low notes. And women usually play it. And you pluck at the strings and you do it with your fingers. And it's got a wooden frame and um, maybe halter. Maybe. Have you done I know that you are, you're the real strength of this team, I know that. <laughs> I know that, because you always just pull them out of the bag you do. I thought, oh, no, I'm very impressed with you. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, you're rotten, you audience. 20 seconds. <laughs> but what do you get? Talk about harps. Harp is a, is a musical instrument, it's wood and it's got strings and you play the str and you play them. Angels have harps and... Um, and it, you, you pluck the strings to make, mu to make the music and it... Uh, it does no, different notes and uh, pay it in an orchestra. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Back you come. I, I'm, I'm just going to take John back for a bit because right, I want to hand it back over there when I go in a minute. <laughs> Very impressive. Eight. Do you know what? Eight is enough for them to win. Oh. We could be saying goodbye <laughs> to you. Yeah. Depends on the two words that you missed. Mm. What didn't we say? We did not say classical. Pedals. And pedals. Oh, I yeah, think pedals. they'll say piano. Because yeah. yeah. harps have pedals, you see, it's a class. I think mm, they'll say piano, know. don't you? They could say bike. Could say bike. Mm. Classical bike. Classical yeah. bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, classic bikes, they're your motorbikes, isn't they? Yeah, classic, but not classical bikes. Oh, all right then. <laughs> and now, George Schulte will play the classical bike sonata. <laughs> I don't know where we get them from, I'll tell you that. OK, they got, s they got seven, which of course is oh. enough for you. In fact, they've got eight, they've got eight. <laughs> which is enough for you to win, you see? <laughs> You're laughing, yeah. Well, yeah. it all depends if you can guess from these two words what the subject was. Here's what they missed. They did not say, look, classical and pedals. Piano. Five seconds, what's the subject? Piano. Piano? Piano? No, it was harp. You keep the points well done, ladies. <laughs> Yeah, very good. I thought that. I thought you said, you know. Put your earphones on and turn away. Yes, that was close, you see. Uh, listen, uh, collect Warwick for a while, oh. and uh, we called it John, and I'll give it back to you now, Wilma, and we're going to call it Fred. All right. <laughs> Actually, you're not going to be no, I don't. What? What? My brother's called Fred. <laughs> He's not. He is. Your parents <laughs> called you Fred and Wilma. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, Wilma and Fred. I'm Fred and Wilma. <laughs> and you were first born? Yeah, but it's romantic because my dad's name's Willie. Well, Willie, because he's German. And my mum. Willie? Yeah, <laughs> really? except it's not said like that. Not, but my mum um, <laughs> was called Mary, so they took the Will from Willie and the Ma from Mary. That's what they told yeah. you. Yeah. So they me. just love the fringe stands, really. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I have some good news for you. We are going to have children. We will call the children Fred and Wilma. <laughs> and then one day on Pokemon, Andrew O'Connor will make jokes about it. <laughs> Here are your subjects. Do you want to talk about songs? Or I'll put this in quotes for you. The Darling Buds of May. Oh, well. Songs. We don't watch Buds The Darling Buds of May. Buds oh, of it's May. a program. Well, it's songs, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You, never, you, you never watched it? No. 19 million viewers and not you, eh? And this same company make it. <laughs> yeah. I've got a feeling you ain't going to win this now, though, ain't you? I'll watch the repeats. You'll watch the repeats, yeah. What are you going to go for? Songs. Songs. And Songs. Wilma's going to go first again. Okay, Wilma. Songs. Songs. Oh, well. Wow. No. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> 20 seconds. Talk about songs. Uh, songs are words that you sing in tune to music. Um, you can have a pianist accompanying you. There's a singer involved, vocalist, lyrics, um, songs, notes, 
um, playing the guitar, singing actions, uh, singer, ah, um, um, songs, <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Thank you, Ken George. You know, you said loads of great words, yeah. but they aren't our words, you know, so that's the way it goes. You've got eight to get here, eight to get. Good luck. 20 seconds, talk about songs. Songs, a song is something that you sing, you sing it from your mouth, you sing it, there's a tune, there is notes, there's uh, soprano, alto, baritone. Uh, people that sing, you have opera singers, uh, songs could be happy songs, uh, you can have short songs. Um, uh, songstress is a person that sings songs, singers that sing songs. Uh, songs have notes and tunes and music, and it's lovely, and people enjoy singing songs. And we've had a... <laughs> I'm just amazed by that. Three said love you see love songs yeah. a song you sing from the mouth anywhere else you're in dead trouble <laughs> you missed seven here are the words you missed you did not say right Ooh. record melody verse chorus theme and title i think it could still be quite hard to guess you know mm. it could be quite, mm, we're going to see what happens they'll take their earphones off it's okay because they only got three so nothing to worry about but they missed you seven words here are the words they missed so, go on drop your headphones go on <laughs> they missed they did not say Write, record, melody, verse, chorus, theme, and title. Five seconds, what's the subject? Song. Song, yeah. Song. He's right, he's done the points, yeah! <laughs> very, very good. Earphones, please, you two, and turn your back to us. Eleven plays seven. <laughs> uh, guess what Wilma's brother's called? Barney. <laughs> Isn't it? It's Fred and Wilma. Oh. <laughs> well, it's his friend, isn't it? Yeah, it's his friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it his friend? It is, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it Fred? Because <laughs> yeah. you can't hear because you've got the earphones yeah. on. Yeah. They're nice though, aren't they? Yeah. Still that like, those impressions. Marvellous. They've got they've got kids, you know. They've got they've got kids. They've Have got, they? They've got kids, yeah. Cool. Not pebbles and bam bam. <laughs> 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 you want to host the show, do you? All right, here we go. Let him play seven. Here are your choices. Do you want to talk about jeans? I'll spell it for you. J-E-A-N-S. Jeans. Or W-G Grace. Jeans. <laughs> do you know who W-G Grace was? A fat and jolly man. A fat and jolly man, yeah. That's that. He smoked cigars. Yeah. And he was in the Flintstones. Yeah, all right. Here you go. You're going for jeans. Who's going to go first? I'll go for it. All right, collect 20 seconds. Talk about jeans. Jeans are blue. They're made of denim. You pull them on your legs. The trousers. Men wear jeans. Women wear jeans. You can have different sizes of jeans. You roll up your jeans. They have buttons. You can have a button fly or a zip fly, and they have a button at the top. And you can have blue jeans or black jeans, and they have pockets in the back. You have Levi's, Wranglers, and um, you can have jeans with no knees in. They're supposed to be fashionable. And Bruce Wells, it's jeans. Very good. Have you come, Ben? You're going to get all the difficult words now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. 20 seconds. Talk about jeans. Jeans are trousers. They're made out of denim. You put them on your legs. You wear them. And they're clothing. And uh, you, uh, you buy them from a shop. You can have zip flies or button flies. Uh, the blue or black jeans. Um, you can uh, turn them up at the bottom. You have turn ups on your jeans. And uh, there's... I'll tell you something. If you didn't get it, then it must be hard. Here are the words you missed. You did not say cut, designer, cotton, and fade. Fade might do it. Change back. If they can guess, they stay in the game. If they can't guess, you're playing the champions round one more time. Your fourth time. Or is it fifth? Fourth. Fourth, yeah. They'll take their earphones off. Here we go. They got six. Six. Which is enough for them to win. Yeah. This means that you have to guess from these four clues <coughs> what the subject is to stay in the game. Good luck to you. Here are the words they missed. They did not say cut, cut. designer, designer, cotton, and fade. Five seconds. What do you think? What's the subject? Cut, designer, fashion, clothes. fashion, clothes, fashion, design, fashion. clothes. Give me an answer. Be one. Fashion. Fashion. No, it's Jean. You're the champions again. Oh, well done. Now, come and say goodbye. Have you come? Oh, what about this? This is good work. I'm terribly impressed by this. This is great. They just got rid of you that quick, didn't I they? Know. 
Oh, not that quick. No, you're right, not that quick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just amazed by the fact that I keep doing it. Listen, you've been great contestants. You get to talk about sports. Thanks for playing the game. Goodbye, George and Wilma. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To the centre then. Here are your subjects. Do you want to talk about Ursa Major? What? <laughs> Ursa Major mm. or newspapers? Newspapers. What and a surprise. I'm going in the box. You're not going in the box. Put yourself in the box then, Ben. That's it. Oh. What do you think she's got in there? <laughs> she's desperate to get in, isn't she? Yeah, she's Can you be closer to me? That's it. She's got a toy boy in there. Mm. Yeah. Now then, yeah. newspapers. Mm. You've got £360 at the moment. Right. We want you to do well here. Okay. Good luck. 20 seconds. Talk about newspapers. Fleet Street, where newspapers are made, and you get a daily newspaper, a weekly newspaper. You go and buy your weekly newspaper from the newsagent's shop. You get supplements in your newspaper. They make your hands all dirty with the print on them. You read a newspaper. You get the Sun, the Mirror, the News of the World, all different sorts of newspapers. And you pay your money, and you read your newspaper. You take it home, you sit in an armchair. All right, OK. You've got three, which is worth £60. Mm. Now, we know what keeps happening with you. Two, yes, I know. And it makes it very important to see what these words are. What did we miss, please? We did not say press, mm. morning, um. evening, local papers, tabloid, headlines and editor. I think I know what you're going to say. Yes. But do you think that if in three... So you've got three seconds, remember, mm. if in three seconds she'll say one of those seven words and double to 120... Or do you think she'll miss it and lose it? Entirely up to you. Yeah. We'll go for it. Sorry, to say that's mad. We're going for We're it. Going for it. Yeah. Oh, have I got good news for you, Ben? <laughs> she got three. Three. She missed seven. Five. And now, very hard. She says that in three seconds. So you got three seconds. You'll say one of those seven words. Now, this is—I'm not joking. Now, she really said that. Okay. So you have to get one of the remaining yeah. seven words to double to 120. And if you miss it, then you do lose a lot. You understand? You've been yeah. missing it. So you understand what situation is. Yeah. You've got to do this. Yeah. Ain't a joke. <laughs> All right. You understand? When I say newspapers, go very quick and get as many words yeah. out as you can. Good luck to you. Three seconds, Beverly. Talk about newspapers. Agent Reporter Boy, Inc. Uh, paper. Oh, I don't believe. It. Talk oh, about Murphy's no, Law, you just that. missed it. You lose all the money, but what the heck, you're still champions. You've got one more Champions game before you have to go. You've got 360 quid. Colette and Bev, Champions places, please. Yeah. Yeah. And we're two more contestants I'm talking about. <laughs> Hi. Uh, David and David. Yes, the SDP of uh, Talk About. <laughs> well, they keep getting rid of people. So, David, talk about David. Uh, David's a good friend of mine from school. We've known each other for about ten years now. Um, he's been married a year to Sally. Um, he bottled out coming on the show. That's why I'm here. Um, <laughs> his mum stitched us up to come on in the first place. All right, all right. David, talking about David. I've known him ten years now. He's 23 years old. He's a uh, insurance salesman, and he's just a really good mate of mine. Here's a question. Can you come back next show? Can yeah. Because we've run out of time. Can you come back? <laughs> yeah. Next time, the two Davids will compete on Talk About and try to stop those girls going for their fifth and final champions round. Don't miss it. Bye-bye. <laughs>